Well, I use the rhymes to remember what I want to say. So a lot of those old patter riffs are just in my head and they probably come out of my mouth when the opportunity comes. I like to have different, different possibilities of patter as I call, and that's often on the break. But in a figure, um, I may do some directional calling and then find like, um, find a little eight count thing that's rhyming. And those are easy to remember because they rhyme. When I first called, it was a visiting couple and those figures rhymed. So they were so easy to remember. And then the rest was just go here, go here, go here and say that patter. Here's one I got from Pam McKeever. Uh, it's the Harlem Rosette and it's a figure I think she did with the Lloyd Shaw uh, Foundation dancers. So it goes, cup number one, go out to the right, gents, link left, don't take all night. Pop that line, you're not through yet, and the ladies duck and face the set, and we'll all take a ride on the Harlem Rosette. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Twirl by the right, pull her through, swing your partner, that's what you do. But it could be just a little patter, like peek, boo, over and peek, boo, back, circle to the left on the left hand track, and that's the whole dance. So how easy is that? <laughs> I put them in where I can because I love doing that, it's like a little piece of dessert for me in the call. But when I'm calling to contra dancers, I want to make sure they hear, here's where things have to happen and here's what you have to do. Um, Sandy Bradley, when she was first calling, used to use calls like chicken in the bread pan, picking up dough, one more change and on you go. And I thought, well, what is that? <laughs> what are you supposed to be doing right there? <laughs> but that turned out that was just a patter for um, the do si do. Well, I didn't know that and it wasn't obvious to me. So I don't use a call like that because I don't want it to be so far off the, the informational loop that it's confusing. But the patter is the fun part because it's the yep da ba da ba da ba da It's the way you use rhythm and syncopation with your words and with your emphasis to make a call like a fun little piece to come in the dancer's ear. Like Alman left on your corner, right to your part, and don't step on her. <laughs> now, I love those rhymes. There are all these little ending for um, eight count ending patter, and I love to get my dance going and figure out where the end of the tune is and then end it with that patter that ends right when the band ends. And invariably, we all laugh because it's like, Wow, that worked. And that connection with the band for me is a big part of why I do this. I had somebody come to a caller class and she says, oh, I hate those rhymes. They're so tacky. And at the end of the week, she said, I love those rhymes. 